Hi, here's Intergeo TV live from Intergeo 2022 in Essen. And right now I have the honor to uh, do an interview with Professor Martina Klerle. So welcome here at Intergeo TV. It's an honor for me. So, just let me introduce, make a brief introduction of Martina Klerle. Um, she is president of the Baden-Württemberg Cooperative University and previously she was vice president for research and transfer at the Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences and she is a practitioner um, with own companies and she's a land manager, she deals with planning, land management, renewable energies, environmental management and orbital agglomerations. And she was part of the international press conference that just took place here at Intergeo, where the topic was climate change and the contribution to your DESI and geo information can do. So Martina, you have been burning for climate change for a long time. So what is the role when we stick to the conference of geodesy for climate protection, for changes, for technologies, yeah, for things, innovations we also see here? Yes, we have um and job to do. I think uh, there is a big challenge that we all fight against the climate change mm -hmm. and each person, each engineer have to do what he can do and for me it's we are able to select data, we are able to make calculation and we are able to design the world to find out for example where are the right places for windmills or for solar panels or for biomass and um, I think we all are able to make the calculation where the politics need to uh, produce more and more renewable energy, CO2, neutral uh, energy. And I think we um, maybe we are not uh, confident enough to do that. And I hope that the family of civil engineers and uh, surveyor and, of course, geomatic engineer um, much more confident and do their job to fight against the climate change and to work for the climate adaption. Yeah, and you just mentioned it. So technologies, achievements here from science and the companies can help politics to do decisions, to do the right decisions for our climate. And uh, yeah, those cities and municipalities are facing that change and uh, they have to achieve the climate goals because we only have this planet we are living on. And uh, what is your advice to those responsible in politics and administration to do so far? Just here on science or here on companies or here to geodesists or what shall they do? Because sometimes, we also heard it in the press conference, there's still so much to do but actually climate is not on the prior position in their decisions. I think, oh, the world is so complex and so complicated. Uh, often it's the break for us to do something because we can't understand everything because the world is too complex. So it's important that we um, know the aim, that we know the aim and the aim is to be CO2 neutral. And to reach them, we have to go small steps baby steps and um, throw it away the complication uh, things do that what you can maybe make the calculation collect the data for example to know where the right places for windmills or so on and the way is to start to do the first step is very very important uh, if you maybe make a calculation for solar panels like a solar catastrophe or for a rooftop catastrophe for green roofs, for example, everything is a small step to work against the climate change. And it's necessary, it's absolutely necessary. If we don't do that, we will have um, more human suffering, more flows of refugees, and we can do something against it. The mayors on their side the minister president on the other side and we um, engineers geomatics engineers can do also something um, for me is at the moment the very important thing is if you want to be a hero for your nation be an engineer and do your work
<laughs> okay, okay, Good. we will note that. And um, wh what do you think? You just spoke about becoming cl um, climate neutral and uh, if the EU wants to become the first um, continent to be um, climate neutral, do you think that we will achieve that until 2030, 2040 or? Yes, of course, we have uh, everything to achieve that. We have the areas, we have the fields, we have... Okay, we know where to put windmills, solar yes, energy. Yes, we have the money for do okay. that. But it's, of course, a hard way because the process, the... Um, administration. The administration is complicated. And this is our biggest step we have to do, mm -hmm. that we uh, find a way with the administration to be fast. Mm -hmm. and. Once again, the climate change, we are fit for 55. We can, we have everything. We have the money, we have the areas, we have the technology that's very important. And now we shall use our brains and our way to discuss and to decide, of course, to, to reach them. I, I, sometimes I think, what is the reason why we are so slow? Mm -hmm. uh, But I think if we go back 10 years back, we reached a lot, a lot. For example, in Germany, we have at the moment 50% renewable energy in the electric part. Mm -hmm. And um, 10 years ago, we only have 10%. So we reached a lot. And we, I think, I'm sure. Good I'm, news, I we know. do not hear a lot at the moment. These are really good news. <laughs> Yes, I, that's that's a typical uh, European and much more typical German way to, to discuss. We talk about the bad things, but we have solid great things that we already reach. And often it's necessary to talk about that what we reach. We have reached a lot, a lot. And now we must go on, be stronger, and to be faced on that aim to be um, CO2 neutral. Mm. Perfect words to end this short talk uh, here at Intergeo about the climate change. So thank you very much, Martina Klerle. Go ahead, change the world, protect the planet. We need powerful and smart women as you are. Thank you very much. Thank you also.